it's turned out to be a pretty nice day across the area. There are some isolated showers primarily off into Missouri at this point, but some of that is trying to stretch into parts of our viewing area right now. These returns are so light and we have so much dry air in place at the surface. I'm not too concerned. You may see a raindrop or two, but aside from that, a lot of us are still seeing quite a bit of sunshine on those sky cams. This is a look at our camera in Metropolis. Again, it is a beautiful evening, so if you have any plans to be out and about, or maybe you're just heading home from work, you can roll the windows down and enjoy some of this warm weather. We are quite a bit warmer than where we were at this time yesterday. Temperatures have climbed back up into the 70s and the 80s today. Mount Vernon right now at 72. We've got Marion holding on to 77. Sykeston at 81 degrees. So again, a really nice evening. As far as your threat tracker goes, we're warm. We're quiet through the overnight hours. As we head into tomorrow, we will continue to see the warm temperatures, but it will be very, very windy. This is all ahead of our next storm system coming in by Thursday. So by Thursday evening, our next chance for storms will work its way back into the area. As of right now, Really not a whole lot to talk about keeping an eye on that chance for a light sprinkle tonight. But aside from that, we are going to continue to stay quiet. Those winds will stay out of the south. So by the time we get into tomorrow morning, temperatures will be running in the 50s. So not a bad start to the day. We will see partly cloudy skies throughout the day and then high temperatures climbing back up close to 80 across the area. So another day that we're pretty well above average. Enjoy that warm weather while it lasts because after our next system comes through, we are going to be tracking a fairly big cool down coming our way. So storm track three up. This is what you'll want to have on your smartphone for the next couple of days because again, those rain chances will start to work their way back in by Thursday evening. A cold front will work its way in from the west. That'll bring the chances for some widespread rain and a few thunderstorms. And then a secondary system starts to push up from the south throughout the day on Friday and that'll keep the rain chances around until early Saturday. So a very soggy into the week. Our focus as far as the chance for storms go will be Thursday evening along that cold front. So a large portion of the area under a one and then we've got parts of southeastern Missouri under a two. So that's a slight risk for strong to severe thunderstorms. We're really talking damaging winds and maybe some hail. So just something to keep an eye on as this gets a little bit closer. And then of course, get ready for the weekend because after this front comes through, it gets a lot colder folks. By the time we get to Saturday, we're talking temperatures dipping down into the low 50s for highs. By Sunday, we really don't rebound very much. We'll still be in the mid 50s. And then as we head into next week, we'll climb back up into the 60s. A couple of other things to watch are those temperatures as we head into the weekend, the low temperatures. If you've gotten a jump on the planting, You'll want to keep an eye on that for uh, some of the frost. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. We were just talking about turning the heat on and then off again. On and off. Yeah, <laughs> looks like the cycle continues. Thanks. <laughs>